Let's find marginal utility from total utility. So marginal utility is going to be the slope of the utility function. So the expression for slope can be found by taking the first derivative of the utility function. So if utility is derived from just one good, let's say x, then the expression for marginal utility will be the derivative of utility with respect to x. And we abbreviate that mu sub x. So let's suppose we've got our functional form where utility is the square root of h. And this was a previous example where h was the number of hamburgers uh, we were buying in a week. Well, to take the derivative, we're going to have to rewrite this. We don't know how to take the derivative of a radical, but we do know how to take the derivative of an exponent. And the square root is the same as being raised to the power of 1 half. So the marginal utility of h will be the first derivative of utility with respect to h. So that 1 half, that's the exponent, comes down in front. We reduce the exponent on h by 1. We can do some simplifying. I usually like to convert fractions into decimals. So out front I've got 0.5 times h to the negative 0.5. If you don't like that negative exponent, you could rewrite it with h in the denominator. So 0.5 divided by h raised to the 0.5. And if you still don't like that decimal, you could change it into the square root of h. Now all three of those are equivalent ways of expressing the same thing. We can go ahead and graph this. So now my vertical axis is the marginal utility of h, and my horizontal axis is the number of hamburgers. So the marginal utility we get from consuming one hamburger, we plug in one where we see h's, and we get 0.5. The marginal utility of the second hamburger is 0.3536. The marginal utility of the third hamburger is 0.2887. Marginal utility of the fourth hamburger is 0.25 and of the fifth hamburger is 0.22. We can connect our points and label it marginal utility of hamburgers.